Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show. And today I thought I'd do a video response to quite a few emails I received um, asking me what pen brand do I use or what do I recommend. And um, my choice is a fairly modest one. It's not uh, Montegrappa as you might expect or Mont Blanc or something of that nature. It's something a little bit more modest but in my view as equally um, good and um, that is of course Parker and Parker pens were founded in 1888 in uh, Janesville Wisconsin in the United States and uh, by George Safford Parker and they had their factory in East Sussex in England for a very very long time um, and in about 2011 they closed down and moved to France uh, but their headquarters are still in East Sussex in England. Now um, it's a fairly really well known brand and um, uh, very affordable uh, but they have a rich history of innovation and and a real pedigree um, in, in the watch um, uh, sorry not watch in the pen industry and um, I'm I basically look towards my grandfather here who you see pictured here as a kind of inspiration and and a role model and I'm very lucky enough to still have one of a set um, of one of his Parkers and this is a um, this particular one is a Jotter ballpoint Jotter uh, with gold detailing uh, really nice little subtle detailing there and um, unfortunately it has got some damage over it but what's interesting about this is this was part of a set it came also with a with a um, um, fountain pen um, that was in similar uh, color the exact same color with with a 14 karat gold nib and from what my mum tells, tells me he never really used the fountain pen, he always preferred the Jota and luckily uh, I still have um, this pen of his what is really cool is this is one of the early uh, ballpoint pens that Parker made from the early 1960s and so in that tradition uh, I've decided to carry on um, using being uh, true to to tradition uh, and buy the modern equivalent which is the new Parker Jota which I'll just have a take out the packaging and here it is and uh, there's lots of variations of, of this this pen but for me the all steel um, brushed version um, you know there's a two-tone version there's there's ones in different colors There's, you can get the burgundy like this one uh, but for me this is just elegant and sleek this is slightly th thicker ones wider ones uh, but for me this is absolutely perfect and it's refillable um, and uses a kind of gel ink um, and you know I like this because I'm, I'm not going to worry about it leaking in my pocket like a fountain pen and uh, it's very very affordable I bought this for five pounds and I might buy a few more and just have them one in my desk here one in my desk in New York one in my bag my travel bag um, my briefcase my laptop bag you know that it's they're really affordable and you can buy loads of them and in fact actually they've become quite iconic recently being featured in Mad Men as Don Draper's choice so you know so if it's good enough for Don Draper and good enough for my grandfather then it's good enough for me and um, you know that reliable stylish um, relatively simple design just just you know uh, is really appealing to me now uh, I do have I'll just get them out. I do have here some fountain pens. Now these are from my school days, my college days. And um, 
what I like to do is um, I decided to get uh, you know a bunch of them and have the corresponding ink color uh, in in each pen so for example I have two shades of blue ink in the blue there I have a green and then I have two shades of red and in this um, this kind of decorated one here I have the black uh, this was actually a gift um, and these are uh, again these are from the 90s and uh, relatively inexpensive and, um, but I don't really I don't use it, these anymore and um, you know being in this computer age I just don't see um, the justification of spending a lot of, a lot of money I mean if you were a writer uh, wanted to celebrate the, the here towards a, a, a or as a good present, um, something to hand down, and I can understand buying a luxury pen. Um, but for me, um, you know, the Jotter is my choice, and it's really cool that I've, I've I've managed to still keep this. I wish I had the fountain pen version, but unfortunately, I don't know what happened to it um, because it would be nice to have the set. But what is really cool is is to see, um, you know, one of the early Parkers and its modern equivalent. So we have 60 years here, um, you know, three generations. You know, my mother had this and then she passed it down to me and then um, I've decided to to get the new one and uh, hopefully it will serve me as long as uh, this one has um, served for my grandfather so so yeah if uh, if it was good enough for him it's good enough for me and that is my choice of uh, pen and uh, sorry if you if you're a bit disappointed and or expecting something a bit more uh, luxurious but um, I just I just love the sleek elegance of of, uh, of the Parker Jotters and um, I can't I can't speak highly enough of them. Affordable, um, you know, reliable, and they look good. And that's what it's all about for me. So, okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, thank you, and ciao.